Can you imagine a world without homeless people? I mean, no one sleeping in the streets, in the parks, in the stations. No more situation like this man on his bench, lost in the landscape. Can you imagine an end of that, for that? Are you ready for that? Will you get involved? Take him. His name is Joseph. He is in the streets for 23 years. What future does he have? He is 49 years old. And when we know that the average life expectancy for homeless people is 47, it's not so bad. He will probably die soon, but it looks like perhaps it would be better for, me, for him. This one is in housing for four years and a half. He has lived in the streets for 23 years. He seems, he seems going well, sitting in his bed with his radio, calm. At least he's smiling, not like the other one. But wait a minute. Doesn't he remind you of someone? Of course he does. He's Joseph. We have known him for eight years now. And yes, he's in housing now, in comfort. He shaves every day. He loves to take his cup of coffee with sugar and milk. He plays chess, listens to jazz music. And there were so many people who didn't believe in a positive future for him. Lots of people talked that he chose to stay in the street, to choose to stay dirty. And when I created the organization 10 years ago with Sarah, my nursing friends, Lots of people told us that it wouldn't be possible for everyone to get out of the streets. That it wouldn't be possible for people like Joseph. But be ready, it's happening soon, the end of this kind of situation. So how did it work for Joseph and for the 75 others who are now in a house and who were in the streets for a long time? <laughs> we start in the streets by meeting them and speaking about their hygiene and their body as often as possible. Because when you stay in the streets for a long time, 8, 15, 20 years, the body stops to alarm you, and you don't feel anymore the pain, the smell, and that's why we can see some people with pretty big injuries, some or lies, and they don't seem to care about it. So her job will be to make the link between them and their body, to, to help them to feel again who they are and to build a new future. Hygiene can help them to start some small objectives. So Joseph can choose every day a small objective, modest one, and he will control it. And every day he will pass a new step, a new objective, and finally he will start to control his life. Uh, yes, and it's super. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> of course, uh, this job is completed by a, so a social work. Getting their identities back, their duties, their rights, and finally, access to housing. For example, by a social re uh, real, estate, uh, real estate company, who will be the link between them and the owner. And because of the social work that they had in the, the street, the new renter will pay his own rent. There, there will be also a, a team who will help them and support him, so to support them in the new uh, step of this life, these new habits. They will also have some volunteers who will help them to, to do some new activities go for a walk after, for a coffee or go to the beach, and why not some new friendship? Her job will be to help them to believe again in themselves, even if the situation seemed hopeless. Of course, this job has to be carefully planned, but we see every day that it's possible for each one. Of course, we also have to work all together with all the people around the homeless people. So the guards and guardians, sellers, policemen, psychiatric, 
uh, the social workers, um, the emergency room staff, and so on. The most people are involved, the faster the process. With Infirmier de Rue, we decided to look after the people who are the most vulnerable in terms of behavioral and psychiatric problems. They've, they are living in the streets for 8 to 20 years, they have serious hygiene issues, and they have multiple chronic disease. For most of them, the, the closed ones are tired and discouraged. And we see that for each one, it's possible to get out of the streets. We have 10 years of experience now, so it's just a fact, it's real, it's, it's possible for each one. Believe in them. It's your turn to believe in them. When you have a friend who is depressed, it's not, he's not the one who will convince you that life is beautiful and that he will get out of his depression. You are the one who can believe in him. In, you, can, you are the one who can believe in his capacities to get out of his state. And at the phone, you can hear a smile without a word. In the same way, you can give this positive energy even without a word. Believe in them and in their dream. Being homeless in, is not a destiny. Being homeless is a situation at one point in one's life. So, are you ready to believe in them? Are you ready for that? Are you ready to, for the end of homelessness? With my great team, our project is the end of homelessness. This project is shared more and more by the other organization and also by the politician. And when we know that the percentage of homelessness is not only the same in the other big cities, we could imagine that for our country and for, uh, for Belgium, but also for Europe, the percentage is the same in Paris and in France. We all, we all have to collaborate on it. The end of homelessness is possible. Thank you. <laughs>